In this video we are continuing our countdown of the 10 lowest cost European countries for retirement. Please see our first video introduction for a discussion of methodology and content, and remember to stay tuned at the end of this video, as we have ranked all 10 countries on the factors discussed in these two videos. With that said, let's now continue our countdown. In fifth place is Georgia, a transcontinental country located at the eastern end of the Black Sea, straddling both Eastern Europe and West Asia. It is part of the Caucasus region, bordered by the Black Sea to the west, Russia to the north, and three other countries to the south. Despite its Asian geography, Georgia considers itself part of Europe due to its rich history, culture, and influences from different civilization. It has a storied past, from its early unification under the Bagrationi dynasty, to its present as an independent nation since 1991. With a population of approximately 3.7 million, its urban landscape is dominated by Tbilisi, its capital and largest city, along with other significant cities such as Batumi and Kutaisi. The country's diverse climate ranges from the subtropical Black Sea coast to the continental and arid inland areas. Temperatures vary in Tbilisi from an average low in winter of minus 2 degrees Celsius or 28 degrees Fahrenheit to an average high in summer of 31 degrees Celsius or 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Renowned as the birthplace of wine, Georgia's unique quavery winemaking tradition and its delectable cuisine, including dishes like kinkali and kachapuri, have put it on the culinary map. Its landscape is a dramatic blend of mountainous regions, such as the Greater Caucasus, and fertile valleys like the Alazani, offering a natural beauty that complements its historical sites and monuments. This interplay of history, culture, and nature, makes Georgia a country of both historical significance and contemporary appeal. The currency of Georgia is the Georgian Lari which is denoted as GEL. Georgia is not an EU member, but it has a free trade agreement with the EU which aligns Georgia more closely with EU regulations and standards. Also, Georgia is not part of the Schengen area at this time. Georgia's healthcare system transitioned from state operated to private, with 90% of hospitals privately owned. While it offers universal healthcare, services are not free for non-citizens. Expats should secure international health insurance, as high-quality facilities are mainly in major cities like Tbilisi. The government is working to improve standards to align with European norms. CEO World Magazine ranks Georgia's healthcare 51 out of 110 countries considered. Since the Rose Revolution of 2003, Georgia has made significant strides in public safety and law enforcement, reducing crime rates and increasing public trust in the police. Expats rate safety as high to very high. Politically, Freedom House scores Georgia 58 out of 100, classifying it as partly free, citing oligarchic influences, attacks on opposition figures, persistent government corruption, and undermined media freedom. Issues with courts and judicial proceedings are also noted. The cost of living including rent, for a single person living in the city center, is approximately $1,200 per month. This includes $600 in expenses and $600 for rent. There are two options for expats to achieve residency in the country by purchasing real estate. The first requires a purchase with a minimum of $100,000 US dollars. With this option, permanent residency can be applied for after 10 years. The second option requires a real estate investment of $300,000 US dollars, reducing the amount of time for permanent residency to 5 years. Citizenship if desired can be applied for after a further five years of permanent residency. Expats considering a move to Georgia should note several concerns. First, the native language is difficult to learn, and English is not widely spoken outside major cities. Second, shopping options are limited, lacking some familiar products and brands. And finally, Georgia and Russia have a complex history, including the 2008 Russo-Georgian War, resulting in the de facto independence of Abkhazia and South Ossetia regions. There are ongoing tensions due to territorial disputes and differing political stances that expats should be mindful of. For the fourth place country, we go to Albania in southern Europe, situated on the western part of the Balkan Peninsula. It lies along the Strait of Otranto, which serves as the southern entrance to the Adriatic Sea. It shares land borders with four countries including Greece to the south. Albania is a country home to approximately 2.8 million people, with its largest cities being the vibrant capital of Tirana, the port city of Duras, and the cultural hub of Škoda. The nation's climate varies from Mediterranean along its riveting coastline, to continental in its rugged interior. 
Tirana experiences average lows in winter of 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and average highs in summer of 32 degrees Celsius or 89 degrees Fahrenheit. The country is renowned for its stunning landscapes, including the snow-capped Albanian Alps, the serene beaches of the Albanian Riviera, and the tranquil beauty of its numerous lakes and rivers. Its cultural and historical attractions are vast, from the castle of Kruja, a symbol of national pride, to the amphitheater of Duras, reflecting its ancient Roman past. Known for its hospitality, Albania invites visitors to explore its unique blend of natural beauty and historical depth. The country uses the Albanian lek as its currency denoted as ALL. While Albania is a candidate for accession to the European Union, it has not yet become a member state. Additionally, Albania is not part of the Schengen area at this time. The healthcare system offers public and private options. Expats are advised to have health insurance due to varying quality and availability, especially outside major cities. Many are required to seek specialized treatments in neighboring countries not available locally. CEO World Magazine ranks Albania's healthcare 53 out of 110 countries considered. Albania is generally safe for expats, with a crime index comparable to Canada. Violent crime is rare, and petty theft is less frequent than in many European cities. The police are responsive, with emergency numbers readily available. Expats rate safety from moderate to high. Politically, Freedom House scores Albania 68 out of 100, classifying it as partly free, citing corruption and bribery as major problems, though the government is working to address these issues. The cost of living including rent, for a single person living in the city center, is approximately $1,200 per month. This includes $700 in expenses and $500 for rent. Expats can achieve residency in the country by purchasing real estate with no minimum value specified. Permanent residency can be applied for after five years, and citizenship if desired, can also be applied for after five years in the country. There is also an option to obtain residency through a retirement visa, provided the applicant has a yearly pension of at least 1.2 million Albanian lek, which works out to about $1,100 per month. Expatriates moving to Albania should be aware of several concerns. Infrastructure challenges in public transportation exist, such as poor road conditions in rural areas, and limited public transportation options such as buses and trains. Also, the healthcare system in Albania is not as developed as in other European countries, necessitating robust health insurance coverage. And finally, potential language barriers and cultural adjustments can be an issue. In third place is Bulgaria, a country situated in southeast Europe, occupying the eastern part of the Balkan Peninsula. It shares borders with five other countries and has a shoreline with the Black Sea to the east. A nation steeped in history, it stands as one of Europe's oldest countries, with a heritage dating back to the 7th century. Home to approximately 7 million people, it boasts a diverse urban environment, including Sofia, the capital, coastal Varna, and historic Plovdiv. The country's climate varies from continental in the north to Mediterranean in the south. Temperatures in Sofia range from an average low in the winter of minus 5 degrees Celsius or 22 degrees Fahrenheit, to an average high in the summer of 28 degrees Celsius or 82 degrees Fahrenheit. The Bulgarian landscape is a mix of contrasts, from the snow-capped Rilla and Piran mountains to the sunny Black Sea coast. Cultural and historical attractions include the Thracian tomb of Kazanlak and the Boyana church, offering insights into a rich past that continues to enchant visitors and scholars alike. The national currency is the Bulgarian lev, denoted as BGN, and is pegged to the euro at a fixed rate. Bulgaria is an EU member state and joined the Schengen area in 2024. The healthcare system includes both public and private sectors, regulated by the Ministry of Health. While well-trained professionals are available, expats may face infrastructure and funding challenges, especially in rural areas. The private sector often offers higher standards of care with many bilingual practitioners, making it popular among expats. CEO World Magazine ranks Bulgaria's healthcare 41 out of 110 countries considered. The country is generally safe for tourists and expats, but caution is advised to avoid displaying valuables. Corruption is a moderate to high risk, especially in dealings with public services where bribes have been reported. Police should not issue on-the-spot fines, and such requests can be considered extortion. Expats rate safety from moderate to very high. Politically, 
Freedom House scores Bulgaria 78 out of 100, classifying it as free, but notes discrimination against minority groups, particularly Roma and the LGBT plus community. The cost of living including rent, for a single person living in the city center, is approximately $1,100 per month. This includes $650 in expenses and $450 for rent. Expats can achieve residency in the country through a specific retirement residency permit, which requires the applicant to have a pension or retirement income with minimum monthly payments of 700 Bulgarian lev, which is approximately 400 US dollars. There is also residency by investment with several investment options, one of which is a real estate purchase, worth a minimum of 312,000 euros, purchased through a self-owned company. Permanent residency can be applied for after five years, and citizenship if desired, after a further five years of permanent residency. Some concerns to consider are as follows. First, when moving to Bulgaria, expats should understand local customs and laws, as they can differ significantly from their home country. Second, the language barrier may pose a challenge, with Bulgarian being the official language. Third, expats should also consider the social climate, as reports suggest receptivity to foreigners varies. And finally, Bulgaria's infrastructure, such as roads and utilities, may be less developed than other European countries. In second place is Bosnia and Herzegovina, situated in southeastern Europe, within the Western Balkans. It shares borders with Serbia, Croatia, and Montenegro and has a small 20 km coastline along the Adriatic Sea. Bosnia and Herzegovina is a land with a rich history, and has a population of approximately 3.5 million people. The capital city, Sarajevo, along with other major cities such as Banja Luka and Mostar, are hubs of cultural and historical significance. The climate varies from Mediterranean on its narrow coastline to continental in its interior. In Sarajevo, temperatures vary between an average low in winter of minus 5 degrees Celsius or 23 degrees Fahrenheit, to an average high in summer of 27 degrees Celsius or 81 degrees Fahrenheit. The country's landscape is a stunning mosaic of rugged mountains, emerald rivers, and serene valleys. Visitors are drawn to its natural beauty, from the cascading crevice waterfalls to the serene Una River, and its historical landmarks like the Vranduk Castle and the Chintiste War Memorial. This nation, once the heart of the Kingdom of Bosnia and later the Ottoman and Austro-Hungarian empires, stands today as a testament to resilience and the confluence of civilizations. The country uses the convertible mark denoted as KM as its official currency. It is not an EU member state or a Schengen member state at this time, however, it is an associated Schengen member giving citizens visa-free travel to Schengen countries since 2010. The healthcare system is decentralized, with both public and private services. Public healthcare is funded by mandatory insurance but varies in quality and coverage. Expats often choose private healthcare for higher standards and modern facilities. CEO World Magazine ranks Bosnia's healthcare 52 out of 110 countries considered. The country has undergone extensive police reform since 2002 under the EU police mission, but challenges like national partiality and corruption persist. Bosnia and Herzegovina is generally safer than many parts of Europe, but traffic culture is poor, and caution is needed, especially when crossing streets. Another safety concern to be aware of is unmarked landmines and unexploded ordinances, which pose risks in isolated areas. Expats rate safety from moderate to high. Politically, Freedom House scores the country 51 out of 100, classifying it as partly free, citing severe partisan gridlock and political corruption. The cost of living including rent, for a single person living in the city center, is approximately $900 per month. This includes $600 in expenses and $300 for rent. Expats can achieve residency in the country through a real estate purchase with no minimum value specified. Permanent residency can be applied for after five years, and citizenship if desired, after a further three years of permanent residency. Regarding potential concerns, expats should be aware of language barriers, as English is not widely spoken outside major cities. Also, cultural sensitivity is important and understanding and respecting local customs will aid integration. And finally, the transportation infrastructure has issues, lacking efficient and modern road, rail, and air systems, which hinder development. We now arrive at our lowest cost of living European country for retirement, which is North Macedonia. 
A landlocked country in Southeast Europe, it shares borders with Greece, Bulgaria, Albania, and Kosovo. It is a country with historical and cultural influences from ancient civilizations, Ottoman rule, and Slavic heritage. You'll find historic sites, museums, and lively cultural events. It has a population of approximately 2.1 million people, with its largest cities being Skopje, Kumanovo, and Batola. The climate is predominantly continental, with cold winters and hot summers. The temperatures in Skopje range from an average low in winter of minus 2 degrees Celsius or 28 degrees Fahrenheit, to an average high in summer of 31 degrees Celsius or 88 degrees Fahrenheit. North Macedonia is renowned for its breathtaking natural beauty, including historic towns, the UNESCO World Heritage Sites of the Okrid region, and the ancient beach forests within Mavrovo National Park. Its landscape is a picturesque blend of rugged mountains and serene lakes, offering a haven for outdoor and nature enthusiasts who will enjoy hiking, skiing, and exploring the natural beauty. The nation's cuisine combines Balkan, Mediterranean, and Ottoman flavors. Local dishes include favorites such as Ajva, Burik, and Rakija. Locals are known for their friendliness and hospitality. As an expat, you'll likely feel welcomed and included. The currency is the Macedonian dinar or MKD. North Macedonia is not an EU member or part of the Schengen area, but is a candidate country for EU membership, meaning the country has formally applied for and is actively working toward fulfilling the necessary criteria for EU accession. The healthcare system has significantly improved in recent years, offering both public and private options. Universal healthcare is provided to all citizens and registered expats through mandatory health insurance, ensuring primary care act. Some expats choose private insurance for additional services. Private healthcare is known for higher standards and shorter wait times, but is more expensive. CEO World Magazine ranks North Macedonia's healthcare 48 out of 110 countries considered. The country is working to improve safety and security, particularly against organized crime. Challenges in human trafficking and smuggling exist due to its location. Despite these issues, North Macedonia is generally a safe place and expats report a high to very high sense of safety. Politically, Freedom House scores North Macedonia 67 out of 100, classifying it as partly free, citing unstable government coalitions and issues of corruption. Journalists and activists still face pressure and intimidation. The cost of living including rent, for a single person living in the city center, is approximately 875 US dollars per month. This includes $575 in expenses and $300 for rent. Expats can achieve residency in the country by purchasing real estate worth a minimum of 40,000 euros. The residency permit is available to citizens from OECD countries including Canada and the US. Permanent residency can be applied for after five years, and citizenship if desired, after an additional three years of permanent residency. Potential concerns for expats include language barriers, climate, and poor air quality in Scorpia, which poses health risks. The transportation system has infrastructure deficiencies, especially in railway connectivity and direct flight destinations. Historical tensions between Macedonians and Albanians also exist. Expats should stay culturally sensitive and informed for better integration. As promised, we close out the video with the following summary and ranking of factors discussed for each of the 10 countries. We didn't include Ukraine in this video because of the ongoing war and potential risks associated with living and investing there, however, we should note that based on the criteria outlined in the introduction, Ukraine would actually fall in first place as the lowest cost retirement destination. They do have a residency by investment program that would work for retirees. So, potential expats and retirees may want to keep Ukraine on their radar, for future consideration should their situation stabilize. It is also worth mentioning that we chose not to include tax rates in our presentation, as the specific numbers can be affected by a variety of factors, but all 10 countries have very good tax rates on foreign pensions, and most have good rates on other types of income as well. Please visit our channel to see other retirement, expat, and travel videos. For the Travel Guru, we wish you all happy and safe travels.